While we've seen a major resurgence in interest in psychedelics and the role they might play in psychiatry, there's been limited attention paid to the various cultural contexts that psychedelics are used in. Just talk us through how this context can affect the way psychedelics work. I'm joined now by Dr. Sandeep Nayak. Sandeep, welcome. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Everybody around this conference and everywhere else these days seems to be talking about psychedelics. So how important are psychedelics in psychiatry today? Psychedelics are being talked about for a good reason. Um, there are now a number of trials that show some preliminary efficacy for a variety of psychiatric conditions. Depression, most prominently, but also uh, substance use disorders. And they're striking because they produce, uh, you know, in a highly psychologically supported context, relatively quick improvements in these disorders in, in, in an enduring fashion. So I, you know, it's drug assisted psychotherapy is fundamentally how I view it. And we're still kind of in the early stages, but I think there's good reason that people are talking about it. One of the things that people don't talk about a lot, though, is context within uh, uh, psychedelics. How important is that context? So this is something that we learned from the previous era of research in the 50s through 70s, where, well, one, there were very different research ethics. So people would be given psychedelics when they did not know they would receive a drug at all. They would be given psychedelics with minimal psychological preparation. They would be given psychedelics. Uh, the CIA was running studies. so. Nearly an, an entire it, enormous gamut of contexts, and what what they found was that the drug alone is not enough to produce the therapeutic benefits. It really matters the way in which it is used. And so now we we have a uh, I guess you could call it a therapeutic context that is wrapped around the entire experience that includes hours of psychotherapy before, supportive context during, hours of psychotherapy after. And what's all that you've learned from, from those contextual studies, if you like, how does that impact how you do future studies? So there's two main avenues here. One is the clinical studies. And as far as the clinical studies go, there is a therapeutic context that broadly speaking seems to be working okay. And there are questions concerning how to optimize that, meaning altering the different parameters, like maybe we do more therapy, um, et, et cetera. However, there's also increasingly a need to understand, um, at a public health level, how psychedelics are being used more broadly. And we, we, we just need to get a much better sense of how much the context will impact the, uh, types of experiences people are having. My last question then would be, what do you think's next then in psychedelics? So when we're sitting here next year doing the interview, what do you think we'll have, uh, where do, where do you think we'll be? We are likely to be looking at FDA approval or MDMA for PTSD. Um, and so that, I, I suspect, will have happened by that point. And we will be dealing with the rollout of that and begin to see in the real world how, how this is functioning. So it'll, it'll really be a complete crossing of the Lubicon there. Great. So, dude, thanks very much. Appreciate you joining us. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure.